uh, for every situation that was mentioned tonight, and we thank you for sharing. Amen. Uh, tonight we're going to be sharing a message, and by the way, we're going to have a pop quiz tonight. Pop quiz. And uh, it's an open book test. Open book. So you can look in your books. It's an open book. Uh, you can, if you you internet savvy, you can, you know, use your phones and your iPads and all of that, uh, concordances, anything you got, you can use, okay? It's an open book test. Amen. And I'm not like uh, some of my seminary professors that would give an open book test and everybody still fail. <laughs> <laughs> this is an open book test. <laughs> it's an open book test and, and we just, uh, and, it's, and, and the answer is going to come from the good book. Amen. Amen. And we always like to cast the vision of this house of dwelling and uh, we always want to put that before us, and even as 2013 is uh, leaving us, it can't, it's hard to believe it mm -hmm. went by so quick. Amen. Uh, but we've been getting it right in 2013. Bethlehem, get it right. right. Amen. We're going to continue in our study, getting it right in motivational encouragement as we try to continue to encourage the saints. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who's standing on Psalm 71, 20, B through 20, you will restore my life again. On the heads of the earth, you will again bring me up. You will increase my honor and comfort me once again. I pray that God will encourage your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus as we continue in our study. Jeremiah said God has a plan for you. We're going to learn tonight, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, is God speaks. This is what you do to make it through such, such a time as this. We're going to go ahead and go to Proverbs uh, uh, 3, 5 and 6 in a message or a lesson entitled, uh, Learning to Lean, Learning to Lean, Learning to Lean. And uh, most of us probably know this one by heart. But let's, let's say this out loud together on three. This is the NASB, New American Standard Version of the Bible. Let's read this on three. One, two, three. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Amen. You may be seated in the household of the Lord. Amen talking about tonight, learning to lean, learning to lean, and if you're going to learn to lean, you're going to have to have hope in God, if you're going to learn to lean, you're going to have to have a heart in God, and if you're going to learn to lean, you're going to have to wait for the highway in God. And we want Christians to know tonight that Christians should trust God in and with all things. Christians should Trust God in and with all things. Again, this is a, a very familiar text, foundational text for most saints uh, because it, it, it's a foundational thing to trust God. Right. And many times uh, for the Christian, and whether you have a, a, a deep uh, or new relationship with God, many times trusting God is, is hard, not in the good times, but when times get rough. Come on, man. And, uh, and this is what God wants us to do. He wants to trust us on the mountaintop as well as trust us in the valley. But many times we lose our trust in God in the valley. And we're going to be talking about uh, trusting in God tonight. And uh, you were singing a song that uh, I'm going to play uh, by a, a man out of Macon, Georgia. Uh, Dr. Uh, Glover is his name. And he, he sings this song like uh, Grandma and them used to sing back in the day. And, and this is just a, a visual picture of how we in modern day times have to uh, trust God. I don't know about you this evening, yeah. but I made up my mind yeah. that I'm going to trust in 
below. Storms may rise, the wind may blow, but I am going to trust in the Lord. Proverbs uh, 22, 19 says, So that your trust may be in the Lord. Uh, can anybody give me a good example of what trust is? Has anybody ever heard of, of, of an example of what, is, what it means to trust? Don't all shout out at one time. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 the, the one example that always come to my mind is the example that, that people always say about the chair. The chair, okay. Where you you, 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 you got to trust that that chair is going to hold your weight up before you even sit down, and most people never think twice about it. They mm -hmm. trust it that much, and they sit down there. Okay, so you say people trust this chair. They, that That's just an example of trust. Okay. Uh, and, 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 and you know you're right, brother, because I I never really think about whether the chair can hold me up mm. until you I you just, hit the float. <laughs> <laughs> then you don't trust. <laughs> but I don't know that I've ever had my hip hit the floor. I, you know, I just usually is there, and I just usually just 
Set down. Yep. Yeah. And that's the trust we're supposed to have. Trust. I trust in this chair. And, and, and like you I said, that's the trust you're supposed to have with God. When you wake up in the morning, take a seat. Trust in the Lord. When the doctors give you a bad report, take a seat. Hello, somebody. When you get a bill, you don't know how to pay. Take a seat. <laughs> when your husband or wife is acting crazy, take the chair and no, no, <laughs> take a seat. <laughs> no, 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 not that way, sister. Not that way, sister. <laughs> not that way. <laughs> but, but, but sit down. Trust. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. That's the way it's supposed to be. Take a seat. Next time you're about to tell somebody, give somebody a piece of your mind, you just say, trust the Lord. Take a seat. Yeah. <laughs> Take a seat. Anybody else? Example of trust. You never heard a preacher preach this text and he talked, use an example about what trust is? That's a good example. So, well, okay. Since y'all don't want to participate, I'm going to go and give you this pop quiz. <laughs> Here is your first... <laughs> Here's your first question in the, in the pop quiz, okay? And before we go on, somebody's got to answer this question, okay? Okay, here we go. Learn to lean quiz. Please give me a Bible verse on trusting in God other than the one we have tonight. It's an open book test. Look in the back of your concordance on the trust. Uh, you may know it. There's got to be one in Job, though. Sounds like a good book to trust, but you have to, I want you to tell me what it is and read it. <sighs> now this is a quiz. This is a test. It's time for you to talk. <laughs> time for you to talk. I'm all, I guess I'm gonna take a seat and trust that y'all find the text. <laughs> And a verse. Now, there's some concordance in y'all Bible studies under trust. Y'all can look. Psalm 7 and 1 said, Oh Lord my God, indeed do I put my trust. Wow. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Read that again, sis. Oh Lord my God, indeed do I put my trust. <sighs> oh Lord my God, indeed do I put my trust. <laughs> Amen. Is that somebody else? We'll give somebody else a chance. Oh Lord my God, do I put my trust in thee? Somebody talked about Job. That's a good book to look in there. Now, it don't have to necessarily have to have the word trust in it. It could be somebody who did trust. Well, isn't it the one that says. That's that's a good one, but I want you to tell me the book and verse it is. No, <laughs> <laughs> Who would trust you with true riches. Wow, that's the context of trust. Where Amen. Where Amen. Where? 16 and 11. 16 and 11. I can't hear you. Who's going to be? Luke 16 and 11. Luke 16 and 11. Okay. What was that? Micah. Micah 7 and 5. What does it say? Do not trust. In a friend, do not put your confidence in a companion. Guard the doors of your mouth from her who lies in your bosom. Amen. That's a good one because you can really only trust in the Lord. All right. 
Hey, man. Y'all doing real good. Okay, let's do one more, and then we're going to have to move on. One more. Somebody mentioned okay, one. Psalms 143 and 8. Psalms 143 and 8. What does it say? Hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee I do trust. Cause me to know thy ways wherein I should walk. And this book. Lift up my soul unto thee. Hey, man. That sounds good. Read that again. I like that one. Go ahead. Read that again. <laughs> Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know thy way wherein I should walk, the way wherein I should walk, and I will lift up my soul unto thee. Amen. What was that address again? 143 and 8. Yeah. Amen. Okay, we're going to move on unless somebody just got one they just have to share. That was a good one in Job, but y'all got to give me the, 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 the exact address. We'll look for it Sunday if y'all can't find it tonight. <laughs> yeah, homework assignment. Huh? It's uh, verse, it's chapter 13, verse 15. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. 13, 15, Job. Wonderful. That's the one that's That's a wonderful, wonderful one that the... Uh, when you when you have to trust and you when you're going through when you had one of them kind of weeks, that's a wonderful word you can stand on. Amen. 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 So what I want to thank y'all. Now the quiz is not over, so y'all keep whatever y'all y'all doing. Y'all get ready to go now. <laughs> Here, here's another. This is a little song, uh, kind of more upbeat. Uh, and I find most videos uh, have, were singing about trusting in the Lord. So here's one that's kind of upbeat. Uh, song as we're, we're talking about trusting in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord, trusting, trusting in the Lord. Just, 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 trust in the Lord. Now, re-quote that again. What you we say? all have ignorant days, and you have to love them through. Amen. Amen. 
So if you can love your children with all your heart and they have ignorant days and you and you love them with all your heart anyway, then why can we not do that with God? When we have bad days, why can't we just let, you know continue to trust Him with all of our heart? When, when the days get ignorant, like Job, y'all mentioned Job. I mean, he had one one real ignorant day. <laughs> and 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 you know and the whole purpose of his trying or his testing was the devil thought that he would curse him to his face because things weren't going good weren't going right so God said hey I'm going to let you test that theory and, and, and Job trusted the Lord with all of his heart even when he had lost it all he trusted on, on that evening day. He trusted God. God didn't. He didn't question God. Hello, somebody. Whether God loved him, whether God cared for him, he wasn't mad at God. He said, "The same God that gave it to me, the same God takes it away." He, he's God. I'm. I'm going to trust Him with all my heart, even in the bad day. Right, right. And, and really, and that's what we that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. That's what we have to learn to do. Uh, pop quiz. Once again, please give me a Bible verse on hoping in the Lord. That's what uh, with all your heart. It's like you're hoping in the Lord with all your heart. Can anybody give me? Bible verse that's dealing with hoping in the Lord. Job 19 and 10. Okay, let me read it. I mean, you read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it says, He breaks me down on every side, and I am gone. My hope, He has uprooted like a tree. All right. Psalms 25 and 3. Okay, read it. Let me hear what it says. No one whose hope is in you will ever be put to shame. Woo. But they will be put to shame who are treacherous to God. Wow, I like that one. Read that again. Give me the address again, too. Psalms 25 and 3. Psalms 25 and 3. Psalms 16 and 9. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejo rejoices. My flesh also shall rest. Wow, I like that again. Read that again. Two comes that again. With the verse. Psalm sixteen and nine. Psalm sixteen and nine. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also <coughs> shall rest in hope. Wow. What what translation is that? The NIV. King James. That's King James. Okay. Anybody else? Boy, those some some great. Verses. Yeah. Psalms 31 and 24. Okay, go ahead. What is it? it says, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you that hope in the Lord. Wow. Another excellent one. Tell me, the, the, tell me it again, the address. It's Psalms 31, 24. Psalms 31, 24. Mm -hmm. Amen. Boy, it just encouraged my heart just to hear them verses read. <laughs> Amen. Is there another? First John three and three, and everyone who has this hope in Him purifies himself, just as He is pure. Amen. You have, you have hope in Him. You purify yourself. You continue to live holy when you hope in Him. Amen. 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 Now, if I was preaching tonight, I would tell you to say, neighbor. Neighbor. Or neighbor. Or neighbor. Hope in the Lord. Hope in the Lord. <laughs> Hope in the Lord and stand on His word, and that's what you got to do when you learn to lean. You know, you got to learn to trust in Him. You got to learn uh, to hope in Him. Amen. 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 That's doing excellent tonight. Uh, this little video uh, is meant for the children. I don't think we have any children in here, but maybe we can learn. <laughs> <coughs>
Lord, he'll make you pass straight. Sign. Pass straight. And, and that's what we're talking about with this last point when we talk about, about a highway in the Lord. You've already trusted in him. And you've already acknowledged him. It says, and he will make your path straight. Uh, does anybody else have a different version in your Bible that reads a little different? This last part. This is the NASB. Oh, it reads the same. Not the King James, though. What does the King James say? say? In all our ways and all he shall direct thy paths. Okay, he shall direct thy paths. Direct thy paths. This one says, make your path straight. Uh, direct your path, make your path straight. Is there another version anybody have out there? But basically, I, I put it in the concept of, of a highway. He, he makes your path straight. After you've acknowledged him, he's going to show you what to do. Amen. Amen. Simple, simply put, he'll... He'll show you what to do, but you've got to trust Him first. That's right, man. You got to put your hope in Him. You got to say, Lord, I, I know the answer is coming. You got to be seeking it, you know, believing that this answer is coming. That's that's faith, okay? And and, and trust is really tied closely to faith. <coughs> and, and you just believe, Lord, I, I acknowledge you in this. I, I'm waiting for your answer. And and He'll show you the way. He'll show you the way. Uh, Proverbs sixteen three says, "Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will what establish, establish your plans." Amen. And and that's why we don't run off and, and do what we want to do. That's why we we have to pray, and we need to do it with all things, not just uh, on church. You know, pray about what's going on in church. We got to pray about what's going on at work. Amen. 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 You got some challenging uh, students and you got some challenging parents. You know, one thing, I don't know if I told this story before, I, you know, I've always kind of been old for my age. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, when I was in high school, I was just looking forward to, to getting, you know, graduating, getting away from all them immature people and, you know, getting the adult world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I got in the adult world and I saw where the kids was getting it from. <laughs> but we've got to, in everything we do, acknowledge, acknowledge the Lord, you know, and, and trust in Him and hope in Him and, and not be so uh, like this last generation of what? Self made and entitled, independent. They have a phrase where it says that, you know, uh, I don't know what it means, but they say they, they they pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. Well, can anybody tell me what that means? A bootstrap? What does that mean? <coughs> and what does a bootstrap look like? It's a, it's a string. Uh, an army bootstrap. It's just, it's a, just string. a string. So so they just saying yeah, they pulled yeah, themselves yeah, up. Every day you did it. Every day you got up and did it yourself. Yeah. Otherwise, you put it up yourself. They, you just pulled your. <coughs> Y'all ain't here for me. I will move. <laughs> but they pulled themselves up by their own bootstraps. Nobody helped them. Independent. And I've seen some people that are so independent, they will, whatever you need, they will help you out. But when they're in need, they can't accept help. Yeah. Because of pride. Hmm. Have you ever seen people like that? Yeah. Give you the shirt off that give you the shirt. But <laughs> won't accept it. Tell you the truth, I used to be one of those kind of people, but mm. God put me through so much trouble that I learned how to accept him. <laughs> learn how to say thank you. <laughs> but but God don't like independence. He don't like that. He, he likes interdependence, to which we're supposed to be upon one another in the body of Christ, and dependence on Him. Hello, somebody. 
and 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 and, and so he doesn't he doesn't like when we go off and on our own ways. I I had a conversation with I'm not gonna say who it was. I just it was somebody in my family, and we were just lamenting about how young people just won't listen. Mm. Mm -hmm. We have all this wisdom to dispense to them. <laughs> But yet, they still go off and do things on their own way and get in trouble. And guess who they come back to? Mm -hmm. that person they the, the very same advice. person that was trying to give them advice on how not to. You know? So, God doesn't want us to be like that. Trust in Him. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. All your ways. Don't let nothing be unknowledge by Him. And you know, if we learn to do that, we'll be powerful prayers. Amen. Because when we got in the car, we say, Lord, okay, which way do I go? Lord, you, know, you got to say, how fast do I go? Because you do the speed limit. Hello, somebody. Amen. Messing with somebody. <laughs> uh, you know, when you, you, know, you, you choosing what to eat. Now you learn how to pray over your food, really pray over your food. Some of the stuff you eat, you probably wouldn't eat. <laughs> Hello, somebody. I don't mean to meddle. <laughs> you know, you learn to pray before you say a word to your children or your mate. You know, you, you, you might not blow up like you. You blow, blow up, you know. <laughs> Hello, somebody. And everything. Acknowledge him. Should I, should I get this new car? Get this new car, Lord. I hear the Lord saying, can you afford this new car? <laughs> Is it a good deal? Usually I don't buy anything unless I see the Lord in it. If it's just a good deal, I say, I know this is of the Lord. It's got to be of the Lord. Because one Go ahead. thing, if, 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 uh, if it takes away from... If it takes away from God, wow. then it's not of God. Well, because He's not going to give you nothing that takes away from Him. That's right. Well, Amen. I, and I've seen that many I mean, times. That you know, with jobs. Mm -hmm. Give you something that will take you away from Him. Yes, That's right. With jobs, you know, I've been praying for a job. Well, you got to work I on mean, Sunday. I mean, a lot of times we don't understand it. You got to work on First of all, that's a trust thing. Yeah. I saw it happen around too. Because and I've seen yeah. that. And I'm not saying, you know, I know we spoke, you know, the man don't work, he don't eat. But some some of these jobs takes us away from the Lord. That's right. They be going and doing so well, then yeah, boom, job situation, boom. But the Lord rather you have more and, and and miss out on Him or less, and be able to develop your person, your relationship with Him. Wow, that's something. New. But. These are areas that you, you, you have to acknowledge him in everything. Because Jesus gave an example to the rich little root. What did he say? What did he say? He told him. Uh, he thought he was such a much and had it all together. Good. <laughs> teacher. <laughs> yes, sir, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I knew I follow all the rules, well, Jesus. All you can But what do I lack? Yeah. <laughs> he yeah, said, go yeah, set it off. Give it away. Gotta go. Blew, blew his mind. He was like, Jesus had a way of blowing people's mm -hmm. mind like yeah, that. He, he said, "Okay, yeah, you right. think you got it together? Let's yeah. see." He gave him an opportunity to do what the disciples did yeah. to leave it off. Leave it off. But what he did. He's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't love, love you that much. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> tell us the truth. But, you know, this life is a very dangerous life to live. And we've got to acknowledge God in, in everything. Amen. And all. Um, commit to the Lord whatever you do. And He will establish your plans. Um, here's a good one. Maybe kind of harder to find. No way. But please give me a Bible verse, verse on God making a way. Well. Oh God making a way. This this thing says, and He will make your path straight. <sighs> he 
Can you think of any other Bible verses that where somebody acknowledged him and he showed them the way? One of the most uh, Six. Matthew, one you gotta, you in gotta, the Bible gotta, gotta do the address though. Matthew six thirty three. <laughs> Matthew six thirty three. Matthew four. Jesus is. But what we need is a spell. 